Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Energy Healing Tarot 123. This is your girl, Empress Jim, here to drop these jewels for our lovely water signs. So Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, you're up. This will be your weekly energy healing read for the week of May 3rd to May 9th, 2020. It's for all placements, so it may not resonate. Just go check out all the videos, you know, because we have these placements everywhere. Got a little message for everybody everywhere. So far, the messages have been, like, on fleek, y'all. I can't even lie. May is looking beautiful, okay, for half of the Zodiac, okay? And I feel the vibe is, that's just where we at, period, okay? So, underlying energy for my water signs here. Spiritual union. Ooh, ooh, ooh. See, when I sing your other little underlying cards. Oh, let me get y'all. We're using the Secretary Oracle deck. We're clarifying with the thaw. I'm giving you one affirmator to start our read off. And of course, we got the rebel deck who begins us and closes us out. So, yeah, you have spiritual union here as your underlying energy, deception and envy. See, I didn't even want to look, but I had that feeling because you were wondering or somebody's wondering if they're more than just a friend. Somebody's wondering if it's more than just friendship here. So this definitely is probably dealing with a relationship here and somebody feels that somebody is lying and cheating. But with your underlying energy being a three of pentacles and a thought deck, I feel like it's just, I mean, it could be a friend will benefit situation, but, or it could just literally be, you know, like a business partner or, you know, I think I'm jealous of your girlfriend. She's just a girl who is your friend and there could literally be nothing else, but somebody is wondering what the hell going on. Okay. I'll let y'all know I hear water sign. Mm, y'all got something juicy. And I ain't talking about that Doja Cat. Anyway, uh, yeah, something is over. There's a completion of a cycle here. You starting off with the universe. Could be the end of this relationship here because of some deception. Because it's, it could have really been a third party friends with benefits type of situation. Somebody was doing a little bit more with the business partner. Or could have been sleeping around at work and not a relationship over. Ooh, ooh no. <laughs> ah. More third party, there you, there you are, water energy, recognition and reward, but also that three of pentacles energy in here. I feel that you were working with someone and maybe you put an end to that relationship or that business partnership here. Maybe you were wondering if they were giving your business plans or business ideas to someone else and they were making a bond elsewhere. Or like getting ready to leave the company and like, you know, maybe they done transferred and filtered all this money elsewhere, you know, done did some embezzling or whatever. And, you know, you've been wondering about this person, but let's get deeper before we get any more. Oh, yeah, because the universe is handing you a financial material change here, baby. There's a financial loss. So you was wondering about this person. Or if you're wondering if somebody about to like do something shady to you in regards to money. They are, and it looked like it could be your lover. Yeah, you knew about this person in the past. You had the wisdom here. Definitely home situation here. You had the wisdom. You, I feel like you knew that you were supposed to have already left this situation, and that's why the universe is finally here to close this out. So if you was going through something rough with this person, the universe is finally here to, like, just close it out, like, Five, five, two fives here, changes. I mean, a couple threes here, you know, time to take action, creative change here. Time to do something different. Time to get out of this situation here, okay? Um, there is lies. There is envy. There is deception. Somebody is stealing money from you, okay? You knew this. You knew this about this person, but I feel like you decided to still change, and now the universe is just slapping you with, like, look, you ain't want to listen to us last time. Hope you're going to listen this time to close this cycle out. And I feel like they's taken from you. And you've been wondering. You're sitting here wondering. Mm-hmm. They're taken away from you. But at the, in the end of the day, if you remain positive, you have the wisdom. You have the strength. You have the knowledge. You can still move forward in a positive way. This is allowing you to move positively going forward in the future. More so, probably not with this person. You're seeing the truth in this relationship about how they were taking money from you. And now you're going to be able to move forward positively and just be able to 
retain and have your assets, have a new opportunity to regain your stability here. Okay, your grounding. So as I say grounding, you are in the space of solitude, which is the hermit energy, Virgo energy. Could be dealing with a Virgo, could be dealing with a Taurus with the wisdom card out here. But um, actually you have a lot of earth out here. You could be dealing with any earth sign, with all that earth out here. But um, yeah, right now you're just in this solitude. Like I feel like as you're recognizing what the hell is going on, like you're really going within yourself and really gaining this knowledge up so that you can know how to move forward positively and, you know, not have so much strain on your heart and on your mind in regards to this person and what they have done. You're trying not to um, be so invested emotionally and mentally so that you don't mess yourself up in a more tangible aspect. Um, yeah, you're just not trying to mess up, you know, your day-to-day -day here. Like, you're, you're, I feel that you're, you've thought about it so much. Like, I feel like your healing process may actually go a lot easier. But, you know, it's just, this is, a, it, it feels really unfortunate. It feels really unfortunate right now for you guys, what it sucks. But, um, yeah, the world and those on the outside see that you've ended this. You put a death to this, could be dealing with a Scorpio, or it could be for you, Scorpio. Um, but you've ended this situation, you've transformed it, you're over it. Like, you see the loss that they've, ca that they've caused you. Like, you're hip to gain with that wisdom in the past. So that's why now you're really just like, you know what, this really has to be over. Like, I always wonder, but now I know, okay? The wisdom has come, where now I know, okay? Your hopes and fears is material and spiritual prosperity. You're hoping to have balance. You know, you're hoping that this will bring more balance to you financially. It could be a job change, changing jobs, seeing that a job is no good for you. A job could be stealing from you, could be stealing time and energy from you. So much so that you just feel like you need to take a vacation, you need to rest, you need to get away. Like you're done with this, you're over the exhaustion, you're over being used and feeling like you're being taken advantage of. This just feels like somebody who just being taken advantage of, either with their time or their money or just their energy. Like, but you will have balance. That's why for me, that's why it feels like it's such a, like it's such a drag energy. Like I feel you guys' energy so heavy. Like it's just like, I can feel the tension and like the weight on you, but in the same breath, it's like, you guys are just breathing through it. Like you're following your intuition, you're being intuitive as the water signs you are, and you're just knowing that, you know, things will get better, things will balance out, they'll become fair, there will be justice in this situation, I don't have to worry, you know, I just, I really feel like you guys are there with that Libra energy. So your affirmator is forgiveness, see, look at that, congratulations. You're being given one of the most powerful superpowers there is, forgiveness. Imagine that you've been bitten by a radioactive um, forgiver. The point is you suddenly have the ability to forgive people for their flaws, their bad days, their unkind moments, and their mistakes. And the best thing about forgiveness is that you can apply it to yourself too. Have fun wielding your new power. But remember, with great forgiveness comes great inner peace. Okay. So yeah, that's why you like you know. That's why I feel like you know you're not trying to be in your heart and head about it. You're that is that space of forgiving because you're wise. You know what you you know what's up. Okay. So the rebel says you need some fucking yoga in your life. Thoughts can be sneaky, lying bastards. There again is the you needing to forgive yourself for dealing with a situation for so long. It's all good. You in a hermit space now. Stay within yourself. You know, you'll come out strong and balanced, okay? You're going to come out strong and balanced. But yeah, somebody was just taken from you and given to someone else. Just, yeah, it's over because like I said, somebody was taking from you. Somebody wasn't offering you. They weren't investing in you. They weren't bringing balance to you. They weren't making you happy. And I mean, granted, it's, you know, people... Other folks aren't responsible for your happiness, but in the same breath, they shouldn't be taken from the pieces of happiness that you have within yourself, okay? 
And yes, this is definitely a third party. This is definitely somebody who, you know, has probably been communicating with a third party of the past and you know it. And you probably have conflicts with this outside third party energy that this person has been dealing with or talking to. So you know who this, you know all parties involved. You know all the people who is like out to do these things towards you. That's that recognition and reward. Like you know about this already. You recognize, yeah, and now it's time for you to make a decision. How are you going to handle this? It's time for you to walk away. Are you going to walk away from this deception or are you going to stay here and still stress out about it? That's what, you know, it's time for you to recognize and realize what's going on. Honestly, you need to move forward successfully here. Could be talking to a cancer energy here away from these blockages and have something new for your life. For your life. Choose better options for you here. Better options that will lead to greater abundance here for you. With this material and financial change that the universe is presenting you, this is so that you can get up and go. And I feel that, you know, they're showing you like, look, it's here. It's time to change. That's <laughs> It's time to change. It's time for you to take your stability and your pinnacles and your action and your, your thought process. It's time for you to tread thoughtfully using your intuition towards something more stable for yourself. It's time for you to get out of this. Start investing into your own craft. Start investing into your own stability, your own tangible success. Start investing into yourself. Put that time and energy back into yourself. Become more stable by working on yourself. Yeah, they're really bringing you this law so that you can see. Like, if you wasn't doing anything else, if you, you weren't helping these people, you were just taking from yourself and you weren't helping them because now they become codependent on what you have to offer. And unfortunately, it's like they're codependent on all your pinnacle success and you are almost becoming codependent on just them emotionally and mentally. Forgive them and move on. That's what you need to work on and do. You, you already knew about this person. You knew they were lying. You knew they were deceiving. You felt like your time was being wasted. I feel like you've, you've put yourself back through the cycle again. I do feel like you put yourself back through a cycle again. Yeah, the communication had already came in. You already knew this. You already knew what action to take, what direction to flow. <laughs> Look at this, Queen of Swords. You already had your guards up. And you knew that you had to end this situation and bring balance. And you already seen that. These are things that you already knew. But again, I just feel like you stayed around trying to give it some sort of a chance. And I feel like it was with this big financial loss that came in fast as hell. That allowed you to really see the truth in the situation and manifest moving forward here towards a better relationship for yourself. Yeah, you feel sorry and regretful, but you know the truth now. Now it's time to heal and get move forward and have more control over your life here, okay? Yeah, it's time for you to manifest new relationships and bonds, a new job. It's time for you to manifest a new job if that's what it is because these folks are taking advantage of you and you already knew that. Whoever or whatever this is was already taking advantage of you. You already knew that. That's why your guard was all the way up. Yeah, you're in solitude because you don't want to come back and reunite with this, this energy. You don't want to deal with this. You do want to end this. That is the fair and right thing. You know that right now. You know that it is the thing to do when it comes to this business-related thing. Three of Pentacles. It could definitely just be work, a business partnership here. Or it could be, you know, maybe a marriage because, you know, access and things are tied together. It could be something that it could still be relationship wise, but whoever or whatever, however, is deceitful and dishonest. OK, everybody sees that you're planning to enter this here. That you transformed, you transformed in this situation and you've transformed this situation. How it feels like you probably, yeah, you've healed, you've healed, you've even healed the person who was hurting you, they can now see that, you know, I feel like in a sense that they almost kind of see how they were screwing you over. You know, they're starting to feel it as well. And now they have this large sorrow because they, it's like they don't have this control over you anymore. Once you find that peace and you decide to walk away from this, okay, when you forgive, as you forgive, they hurt more. 
you feel better for forgiving them. This is forgiveness. Forgiveness is not just for the person. It's for you. You forgive folks so that you can move on with peace in your heart. And as you move on with the peace in your heart and transform as they see you doing, it hurts them a lot more. It hurts them to see that you're still successful, that you're still making it, regardless of whatever they put you through, that you're still standing tall, okay? Yeah, you're going against these conflicts. You're transforming against this. You are no longer afraid. You are putting an end to all the mental conflict. The secrets have been revealed. There's nothing hidden from you anymore that you don't know. You are hip to gain. You became hip in the past. You were wise, and that's why you had your guard up. Now you just want things to be fair. Um, but you just want whatever goes around, come around. You want just, yep, whatever comes around, go around. Things have been revealed. You just want to clear the energy of that, take a new leap of faith, transform that energy and cut it out and keep it moving. That That's balance for you. You just don't want to deal with that anymore. Wish them the best and move the hell on. It'll leave them feeling jacked up because they're going to expect you to be as nasty as they was to you to them. But no, you stay classy and elegant as you are, okay, as the queen of cups. You stay like that. You nurture that cup. You look at your cup. And then you be in the king of cups and you don't put that heart in your sleeve. You be in control of your emotions. Do you hear me? Embark on a new journey for yourself. Life is becoming balanced. Yes, this is still good, baby. Okay? Granted, it feels a little more down because the other guys were so rowdy. But you here, water sign, let me tell you. Yeah, bring balance to the stress. You don't need to stress no more. You need to heal, baby. Star energy. That is the judgment. And that is the judgment. It is your time to shine and heal. Release that energy. Release that person, place, a thing. Because you have greatness coming towards you. Forgive them. As you forgive them, you will lighten up. You will soften up. You'll look better. you feel better. You hear what I'm saying? Uh-uh. Don't care around that energy. Yes, go after something new. Forget the past. Forget the past. It was nothing but an illusion. It's time for you to change your fortune and go after options and things that you know will bring satisfaction to what is, to what you value. Okay? Go after things that matter to you. All right? So, we're going to close you guys out with this oracle, my famous rebel. Cause she, oh, look at that, all of them. So yes, water signs, you need a good fucking cry. And let me tell you, they help. Because I had to have one, one randomly happen to me about a week ago. Ain't gonna lie to y'all. And once I did it, oh my goodness, I don't know where it came from, but I felt so good after it, okay? So yes, you need a good fucking cry. Move the fuck on. Put the fucking phone down. Too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person. And if you in that phone, call somebody and listen to a real voice, okay? But uh-uh, don't be looking at all the losses or whatever. Just get up and get moving, okay? You got an ace of wands here. You got passion ignited. You got a new desire. You got something that you can go after. Go and do that, okay? So... You got a feeling you just can't shake. That little voice inside you, listen to that shit. That's your intuition, all right? Detox. And I was thinking that's what you guys needed to do with the cry. Drink a smoothie, a friend that asshole, and throw some shit out. Lead them in the past and move on. Please do. You need some fucking yoga in your life. Ancient shit is cool. And meditate. Stay within yourself in that hermit energy, all right? You guys got this. And again, forgiveness is not for the other person. It is for you so that you can go on with sanity and don't have to hold any hurt, heavy burdens or negative and low vibe energy inside yourself. Forgive them. Let them go. You ain't ever got to forget now, but you can't forgive them so that you can move on in peace. All right. What a sign. So that was your message for this week. If it resonated, give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below, leave your feedback, because I do read and I do interact. If you're not following or subscribing, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell button so you know when the videos drop. If you're on social media, I am on Twitter. See the link in the thumbnail, at etero123. And I will catch you guys at your next reading. Take care. Peace.